Hi, it's Michael with Wise Agent. It's time to stop letting important dates slip through the cracks. With Wise Agent's new checklist trigger feature, you can be sure that you and your team will be up to date on every step of the transaction process. Follow along to see how to use this new feature. A checklist trigger is an automation that happens before or after a task is completed or due. To see how many triggers are attached to each template, head to the checklist template page and look at the numbers next to the lightning bolts. To start adding a checklist trigger to a template, head to the pencil icon. From this page, you can add a new date to the template or edit any of the existing dates. When you're done with this, head to form fields where you can add a new form field or edit any existing ones. Here you can add any new contacts or edit any existing ones attached to the template. Finally, here at the task section, you can add your checklist triggers. To do this, select the pencil icon on whatever task you want to add the trigger to. Once you're on the pop-up, select the Add Trigger section. A trigger can be sent out before or after a task is due, or before and after a task is completed. You can send these automated email and texts out to clients, vendors, and inside and outside team members. You can also add clients and vendors to a drip campaign so you don't have to worry about adding them later. Also, you can send out a team alert to keep your team updated through the transaction process. To disable a checklist trigger from a template, you need to head over to the template that you want to disable the trigger from. Once you're looking at the checklist, head over to the right corner of the screen and select Disable Triggers. Just so you know, disabling triggers will unschedule any active triggers that have not been completed and prevent any future triggers from being scheduled for this checklist. You can edit a trigger on the task section of the checklist template page. Select the trigger and go to the portion that you need to edit. It is important to remember that you can only have three triggers active per task. You can disable a trigger by scrolling to the bottom of the pop-up and selecting the switch that says Enable. Thanks for watching.